Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to a brand new episode of Cook TV brought to you by www.craftshoeprint.com. Today we're going to look at a gorgeous kit from Karen Heaviside. It's cup number cup 1059779 underscore 45357. It's called the Yorkshire Terrier card front kit and there's four sheets in this kit. It's for a seven and a half by seven and a half inch square card. However, I'm going to use an eight by eight inch square card for it. There's lots in the kit. There's decoupage, lots of inserts, lots of doggy sentiment, and it is just the cutest little dog. And I'm sure any animal lover would love this kit. Okay, so let's see what's in the kit before we make the card. So the first thing in the kit is the base for the front of the card with some of your sentiments. Sorry to hear your poorly. Get it? Friends forever. Thinking of you today. Missing you always. And the cute, cute little Yorkie. Then we've got this building up the decoupage elements of the card front. Look how cute she is. So we've got the tags and the little buttons. Then we've got insert panel number one and some more of the sentiments. We've got a beautiful saying on the insert. It says, today's your birthday, so celebrate in style. Have fun creating memories to look back and smile. Happy birthday. And then we've got a blank insert panel and we've got a mini card and the little mini Yorkie as well. So the first thing I want to show you is the mini card. Great as a gift tag, just coordinates so perfectly to the actual kit. Now I'm going to show you something with the actual first of the um, inserts. I've got my 8 by 8 inch square envelope and it's just a blank envelope and I've taken the blank insert, I've cut it out and I've got flat double sided tape on the back of it and I think to coordinate the full look, popping this on the front of an envelope to match the actual finished card, maybe you give a gift as well with this as the little gift card, it's going to look super cool. So how quick was that? Just to jazz up your envelopes. So now let's make the card itself. I've got an 8 by 8 inch square card. Now on the back of the card I've taken the small decoupage section of the Yorkshire Terrier. I've cut her out. I've got flat tape on the back. I'm simply going to peel the back of the tape away and I'm just going to add her to the centre of the card and then I've taken blank sentiment panel again flat tape on the back and I'm just going to add that at the bottom of the little Yorkie on the back then you can add your name then the person who you're giving the card to know who's made it for them so it's just a nice little add-on I think so let's add the insert to the inside of our card. So I've got the insert that's got the sentiment on, I've got flat tape on the back and I'm simply peeling away the back of the double sided tape and I'm going to just position this inside the card just in the centre and then press it down. There we go and then for the front of the card, I'm going to start off with matting and layering. Now this is a piece of black cardstock. I've been really frugal with it and I've cut the centre of it out because you don't need the centre of the base layer of the card. Because when you're matting and laying, sometimes you want to save that little bit of cardstock. You don't want to always cover it over. Some people are happy to do that, some people like to save it. You can make so many things with your scraps. 
So I've just saved it because it's a large piece of cardstock just to cover over. So it's just general black cardstock that I've cut down to 7.8 by 7.8 inches square. And that gives me a nice edge around the outside of the card. There we go. So next I've got the full base layer from Karen's kit. And I've got flat tape on the back of it. Now, eagle-eyed viewers will see my little arrow. It's just so that I know which way it's got to go. And there's only one way it can go. However, as I'm pulling the tape off, it just gives me a gentle reminder. So you've seen me take the tape away from the back. And I'm just going to pop that through the centre of the front of the card, like so press it down and now where I was frugal on the front of the card you would never know. So I've cut out the next layer and this is a checked base and the little Yorkshire Terrier. She's just so beautiful. And I've got 3D foam on the back so then I'm going to position it over the top of the check layer on the front of the card like so. There we go. So far so good. I've also taken the little cross that's included. I've cut that out. I've got 3D foam on the back and I'm simply going to add this to our card to one corner. Now I've just turned the card round so that I can see because obviously looking through a camera it gives you a different angle to uh, when you're making it at your desk and um, you're looking over it as it were. So there we go, we can pop that down. How pretty is that? Now I can build up the decoupage for the little Yorkshire Terrier. I've cut the two images out I've put 3D foam on the back of both of them and then you simply marry up the design like so on both layers to build up the image for the decoupage. There we go, like so, press it down. I've got a little sentiment and it says have a possum day which I thought was rather apt. And I'm just going to pop that just to the bottom of the Yorkie. There she is. I've taken one of the tags that's in the collection. And it says, dogs wag, wag their tails with their hats. Oh, I've got 3D foam on the back of this. And I'm just simply going to position it through the corner of the cross on the top of the card. And then I'm going to finish the card with six little buttons that I've cut out. I'm not going to try and make them straight. I don't want it too um, symmetrical. So I'm just going to pop them on because buttons don't always sit straight anyway. And there we go, the last one. And that is our gorgeous card finished. You can see the layers from the Yorkshire Terrier. And it just all works so well. Even down to the label on the back of the card. So then we've got the little mini card that matches. And the envelope as well. So it's just all ties in nicely. I'd like to remind you of the cup number and it's cup one zero five nine seven seven nine underscore four five three five seven and you can see any of Karen's designs by going to the Craft Shoe Print website and looking for Karen Heaviside. I would just like to say thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.